London. We all know it. We've all seen it. But few of us know about London's efforts to help itself become a smart city. A smart city, by definition, is a city that infuses technology in every part of its city's operations, including public transportation, power supply, sanitation, water, and citizen participation, in order to create a safer and better living environment. So let's see, shall we, about how London is using its rapidly increasing technology to help itself become a smart city. It is estimated that London's population will increase by 1 million in the next 10 years, which can and will lead to problems such as growing pressure on healthcare, transportation, energy, pollution management, and traffic congestion. So in order to overcome these challenges, London is using its innovative technologies to deploy its best practices. This means different collaborations between government startups, organization, universities, and Londoners in order for the innovations to be beneficial for everyone. Some of London's cutting-edge innovations include building up intelligent road network transport systems, making use of new technology to reuse waste heat from underground subways, and tech companies such as Intel that are linking up with the global-level research institutions of London in order to create a safer and more connected city. Now with that out of the way, Let's see how London is using this technology to try and reduce and stop one of its most dangerous and life-threatening problems. Pollution. Every year, more than 9,000 Londoners die early because of air pollution. People who live in deprived and poor areas of London are twice as likely to die from lung diseases than those who don't. And finally, £3.7 billion from London's economy was spent on air pollution alone. So what exactly is London doing about this? Well firstly, parking is going to be banned in some areas of the city to decrease the use of cars. These areas are homes and offices that are close to public transportation and also in central London. This will encourage the use of more environmentally friendly means of transportation, such as cycling. Another plan that is already being put in place this year is London's Zero Emission Taxis, which means that all of London's taxis licensed after the 1st of January 2018 have to be zero emissioned in order to help clean up London's dirty air. Whilst on the subject of zero emission vehicles, as I was in London, me and my friends noticed an alarming amount of electric cars, specifically the Toyota Prius. I mean, seriously, they were everywhere. It felt like at literally every corner you could see one. Kind of like some other random things in London. Whether or not this is a good thing is entirely up to you. And with that, I'm going to end the video.